Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. Welcome back if you are subscribed. Thank you for staying subscribed. Uh, if you are new here, hello, my name is Roxanne, also known as Bai Bun. I am a mixed media artist, illustrator, and maker of things. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a tour of one of my finished sketchbooks. This is actually one of my, what I call illustration sketchbooks. Um, I have a lot of different sketchbooks that I work in at one time and each one kind of serves a different function. I have some sketchbooks where I just really like play around in. It's kind of what I call my off camera crinkle. I have a tour of one of those here on the channel that you can check out. I have other sketchbooks that have like a blend of mixed media art journal stuff with more drawing sketchbooky stuff. And then I have ones that are like this, which is where I do my completed illustrations. So very often I will do sort of like rough sketches and messing around in sort of my play sketchbooks. And then when the time comes for me to actually create the illustration, I then will transfer it over and do it in a sketchbook like this. This is the Strathmore uh, 500 series mixed media sketchbooks in the soft cover in black. I will put a uh, affiliate link down below if you're interested in picking one up yourself. I really like these specifically for kind of the finished illustrations because I really like the paper. It works really well with paint and ink and watercolor um, and all that good mixed media stuff that I like to do. So that's kind of the fine print on it. I started this sketchbook in March of 2021 and have completed it this year in April of 2022. I am just now getting around to actually filming the tour of it though. Um, a big part of it was that it has a lot of April Art Challenge stuff in here. So there is a lot of April Art Challenge stuff ahead and I think even some stuff from Peachtober from last year, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of random stuff in there. Um, these ones take me a while to finish sometimes because again, it is more of my completed illustration sort of sketchbook. So I pop in and out of this quite a bit. Um, and there's a lot more blank space, I would say, than some of my other sketchbooks because it's all about the paper for me really and getting a finished illustration that I can then scan and you know, create into a sticker or a print or just that lives in a book. I'm not someone who works on just loose substrates. Like it feels very weird for me to illustrate on just like a loose piece of paper that it's just really weird for me. So all of my artwork lives in books. Okay, I think that is enough for the fine print. Let's go ahead and get into the tour. Okay, I've brought you in just a little bit closer here. Most of the stickers on the front are actually my own or they came from, this is from Sticky Club. All of these are literally my own. Um, this was from like a random Halloween collage pack that I sort of glued on there. I always like to put the date of my sketchbooks on the spine and then another one of my stickers on the back as well. Some of these are actually available in my Etsy shop, so you can check those out there. Um, this was actually from the advent. This is from the advent too, uh, the 2021 sticker advent that I did. I am working on a 2022 advent calendar, if you can believe it, which is really terrifying. More stickers in here. These are my own. This was from a random collage thing that someone had sent me, so I don't know where this is from. Um, I actually, originally when I created the sketchbook, I thought this is what was going to be my sketchbook club sketchbook. I uh, run a sketchbook club over on my Patreon on the all access tier, where I basically document like the start to finish process of filling up a sketchbook, and it's really loose and like fun. I thought that this was going to be that sketchbook for that, but I ended up starting a larger one instead. So I kind of put some things in here that were geared toward that, like setting a mantra kind of in your front little cover here. Um, and just like, I, sometimes I do this, just a little reminder for myself, like this sketchbook is for experimenting, no rules, no pressure, and a good time, uh, which is really not the case because it ended up being, again, my illustration sketchbook. These were some um, vaccination um, designs that I wanted to turn into stickers, but I never ended up finishing them. So you can see this is the transferred design from what would have been like one of my off-camera crinkle sketchbooks into here. So this was the transfer. And then I transferred it down here, but I never ended up finishing it. I should at some point probably go back and finish them, but I also just feel like it's kind of a moot point because most of us are already vaccinated and boosted by this point. So you know, there was all this excitement when the vaccines came out and I was very excited to get vaccinated uh, as a lot of us were. So that was that. Uh, you may recognize some of these. I have turned these into stickers, actually. They're in my Etsy shop. This is the original paint tube ghost. 
Um, and these are actually illustrated onto pages that I spray painted. So that pink in the background is actually stuff that I have spray painted. I love this hand. I was so happy with the way that this hand turned out. Um, I think I did this in 2021 and then this was in 2022. So I do jump around a lot. I don't always work chronologically. This is a lot of Advent stuff. This owl girl, these teeth up here. Um, these are the teeth that um, are not only in the Advent, but they're also the teeth that is in my teeth washi tape. Um, and then these little guys, these poison apple guys were mini stickers from something else. This was what I thought was going to be for an advent calendar sticker for last year, but I didn't end up liking it in sticker form. So I never got it made into a sticker guts, bananas. You know, I love, I love drawing stuff with guts, severed fingers. I had just gotten my severed finger washi tape and the stickers. So I was really excited to stick those somewhere so that I could see how they look. The washi tape is a lot of fun because it just literally looks like you have fingers like hanging out on your page. Um, that is in my Etsy shop, so you can check that out there. Um, this was an advent sticker design. Um, that was the other thing too. I had to keep the sketchbook kind of on lockdown a little bit because all of, all of the, um, that was the other thing too. I, this sketchbook, I kind of had to keep on lockdown for a little bit because a lot of it had sticker designs for the advent and I didn't want to spoil any of that. These were little illustrations that I had made um, of my pugs. This was Lurchy before he passed and Olive. I was contemplating doing a pug sticker in the advent. And even to this day, I still think about doing pug stickers just as like a fundraiser for the pug rescue because I work very closely with them. More advent designs, the Ouija moth, one of my favorite illustrations that I've done. So this is the original here. This was also advent yeah, a lot of the advent sticker stuff is in here. This was actually from comic book club. Um, in 2021, I did a comic book club over on Patreon. That was before we switched to sketchbook club in 2022. So that is from that. I thought about making this into like a sticker or a bookmark or something, but it just never, never came about. I just didn't like how it looked scanned. More advent. These were little houses that I was playing with doing like a little haunted house sticker that never turned into anything. This did though, the little spooky, this is actually what's on the cover. So that's the original illustration there. And then here is how the sticker turned out on the front. It's kind of fun. And oh, and there's this, the poison apples. They're in there too. It's fun when I can put like the actual stickers that I got made in the, sometimes I put them like next to it in the book or I just put them on the cover. These were my midsummer sticker designs. Uh, these stickers sold out really fast, actually, by the way. I'm wondering if I should get those reprinted. Well, those summer's almost over, so maybe, or it's coming to an end, so maybe not. But I love the little A-frame house. That's one of my favorites. I would get this tattooed on me, honestly. Um, these are actually from my big stupid sketchbook that I cut out and stuck in here because I'm kind of repurposing that sketchbook into like a pattern book. Um, same story here. This was something that I stuck in from my big stupid sketchbook. I should have done more on this page probably and illustrated stuff, but honestly, I was kind of just feeling like the sketchbook was done and I wanted to move on. So that is what I did. This is more, um, advent calendar stuff as well. So it's kind of fun. Like no one's really seen these originals like this. Uh, this little guy kind of became like the mascot of, um, the advent calendar, which was a lot of fun. This was also another favorite of mine and that's done with paint ink and watercolor all mixed in together. So I really, really love this spread here, but you can see where the sketchbook, the purpose of it really is for finalized artwork, all more advent sticker stuff, this hand, this little like witch tombstone and the ghost. This was all advent stickers. More advent stuff. This was actually for peach tober. These were peach tober prompts that I had done. I don't, I think this was storm or rain or something. Um, and I think ladder or up going up. I can't remember what the prompts are. This was more advent. I was really hot into designing different types of like happy mail. So I wanted to do a haunted mansion and Beetlejuice happy mail. I think this is advent design possibility, but I think it's also all peach tober stuff. Um, this one was for the prompt fall which I really loved this illustration. This just popped in my head so quickly, like how I wanted to put this prompt together. So I was really pleased with that. Some little 
candles there. This was in a video. I filmed this for some sort of video. I don't know if it's on Patreon or YouTube. It's somewhere. This was, um, I was, ooh, yeah, this is swatching for Patreon. This was a Patreon video. It was also playing around with color combinations for my son's second birthday. We had a cocoa themed birthday party. So I was just playing around with colors and all of that. That's what that is. We have some tulips. This was for Peachtober, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I did have these made into a sticker and I really, really loved them as a sticker um, because I put them on clear sticker backing. So they looked really cool when they were made. And I think this is all just watercolor. And then I overlaid um, colored pencil on top of it, which I actually don't do very often. Um, maybe I should do more of that because it's it gave me like a really nice soft look about it, which I love. This was all Peachtober with the exception of this little ghosty. This was a ghost that I was going to do for the advent. Never made it into the advent, but is now a freebie sticker if you buy something in my Etsy shop. I rotate through those stickers a lot, but um, this was for Treehouse, I think was the prompt for that. Or House, I can't, I don't entirely remember. This was also Peachtober. I don't remember what the prompt was for that. And then this was for Scout, which I really actually like this little like ghoul scout gal with like her guts and her merit badges, I think is actually really cute. <laughs> they all seem like they're all like hanging out together. It's kind of funny. This was, um, I don't know what this is. This was just, a, this turned into a sticker. I sold this as part of like an inky sticker set. This was a frog that just never ended up getting a home. I think he might've been for Peachtober. Um, I have since, I think I put this in a Patreon download. I'm not entirely sure, but I do really, oh no, this was for Peachtober. This was for Rainbow or something. Yeah, and then I, I just, I liked it so much, I ended up turning it into a sticker. So that was that. This was all more Peachtober stuff. Um, I do really love these like murder French toast, murder waffles down here are a lot of fun. I should get this made into a sticker. I don't know why I didn't. It would be a really funny sticker. Um, mountains up here, which is also kind of fun. I love the waterfall going through the mouth. This could also be a fun sticker. Why haven't I made these into stickers? I remember hating this one. This was for like map or treasure map or treasure or something. I did not like the way I colored that. I believe this is from a comic book club video on Patreon. This I think was for Peachtober, I'm pretty sure. Here are all of the originals of my Mixed Media Vibes Art Creative Juices sticker series. How long of a title can I get there? Um, we have Mixed Media Vibes and Sketchbook Juice. I was also playing with new watercolors. These are those really vibrant, amazing core watercolors. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful combination of colors, but they blend together really well. So I was kind of playing around with blending and then that's how I kind of put it into these sketches that I already had sort of ready. Um, this is a 2022 advent spoiler that is underneath here. So can't share that with you. Uh, but here is the other creative juices, a uh, big sticker over here. These are all in my Etsy shop, by the way, all of these stickers. Here's the tigers. We have the pink and the blue tiger. I kind of posted this on Instagram and asked if I turn this into a sticker, which one would you guys want? Everyone, most people voted for the blue uh, tiger. So that was what I got made into a sticker. Uh, he has since sold out, but yeah. Make it pink or make it blue. <laughs> this was also a Patreon video. I was swatching new colors. I think this were the, oh gosh, these might've been Daniel Smith. I can't remember what, what uh, watercolor set this was from, but I was playing around with those new colors. And then um, over here, just making a really gross caterpillar bug thing. I think I had been watching something and that's what inspired that. I'm not entirely sure. Here is the original artwork for the April Art Challenge for 2022. The prompts and little extras. I always like to hand draw sort of the title um, and elements of it. So like all the little pieces of washi tape and like the branches and stuff that were on the final prompt list. At least part of it was hand drawn. I always like to try to do that every year. And then we're getting into uh, April Art Challenge for 2022. I did half of it in this sketchbook and the other half in a other sketchbook. So you would have probably seen a lot of these from the April Artwork Challenge like tour video that I put together. I'll put a link um, 
in here somewhere. So you can go check that out. But that's like a creative sort of flip through tour. But I never created like I never I never filmed like a chatty tour of it. So that's why I'm kind of including it here. We have the backpack. This was one of my favorite ones. I also just really liked how like the the corners of the photograph like curl and whatnot. An interesting element of what I did for the April Art Challenge was that I wanted it to be like a story, like they were photographs. So all the artwork looks like it's from a Polaroid or like a printed photograph. So there is for staff. And the April Art Challenge this year was all like summer camp themed too. Um, it was a nice change of pace from just having regular prompts. I think from years prior, I was really like creatively motivated and inspired by it. So I'm glad that I did it. Um, but you can see where I kind of stack illustrations together on certain pages. And then I have my upper area is like where I'm doing swatches and like cleaning off my paintbrush and whatnot. That was definitely a favorite from the challenge. That was for Axe. I think this was for Pennant and s'mores. I actually dipped my finger in paint to smudge that little blob there. Radio and cafeteria. This was a lot of fun. I, I hadn't done this much like heavy watercolor in a really long time. So it was kind of fun to just kind of stick with one medium. I did use ink here and there. Like I can see that there, this has ink around in it, but I really heavily focused on watercolor for the month. So it was a good way to like fine tune my watercolor skills. I feel like a little bit, I'm so used to mixing things together. I think this was for log and this was for lake. But yeah, I'm so used to mixing different media together and being a little chaotic with it, but it was kind of fun to have like a really focused streamlined thing. I think this was for lore or full moon. I did not like this one. This was one of my least favorite ones. I did love this one though for tent. And I really like the border, like the photograph border that I put on this one. This took me a while. I mean, you can see like the watercolor layering in there. I was very proud of that one. Lantern. Uh, maybe this was Lore or Full Moon. Not entirely sure. I wasn't super stoked on either one of these either. You know, it's getting towards the end of the month on these ones when I was doing the challenge. Uh, I was getting getting burned out and just kind of wanted to get to the end. Um, I love this little one, this like little bear trap. I've forgotten what this was, but little bear trap. And again, the folded little corners, I think was just a really fun detail. Some little locks there. And of course we've got the ghoul under the bed, under the bunk bed. I think bunk or bunk bed was the prompt for that one. And then the back here was just a little thing that I tore out of my big stupid sketchbook and stuck in there. I always put little post-its in the back of my sketchbook for notes or, um, yeah, just marking something off, but there it is. There is my, one of my completed uh, illustration sketchbooks uh, completed in about a year. Yeah, about a year, not too bad. Considering I work in like a ton of sketchbooks at once, uh, it's nice to have another completed one to add to the pile. So there you have it. I hope you have enjoyed this little chatty uh, sketchbook flip here. I will be uploading a music only flip as well for in case you don't wanna hear me talk. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video, but it's all right. It is what it is. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this chatty and up close look at one of my completed sketchbooks. Uh, again, I will have a link down below if you're interested in picking up this one for yourself. Uh, otherwise, I'll talk to you guys in the comments if you wanna leave any questions for me. Um, I will chat with you there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And again, if you're new here, uh, give this video a like if you liked it and consider subscribing. I try to put out a new video every week here on the channel, doing my best. And for more art and good times, uh, yeah, just subscribe for lots of fun stuff. Anywho, I'm rambling. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.